Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to another video that is brought to you by the EA Game Changers program. So big thank you to EA and the Game Changers program for sending me an early access code so that I could get a look at Nifty Knitting. This is my gameplay video. We've already gone over Create a Sim. I will leave that link down below. And in a few hours, I'm hopefully gonna be going over Build and Buy mode, but this video is all about the gameplay, what you can expect once you hop into live mode in Nifty Knitting. It's still love to knit in my heart, guys. I want to call it love to knit so bad, but I know it wasn't the winning vote. Also, I do just want to say at the beginning that this is coming out tomorrow for general release. So if you're wondering why I've got this early, it's because I'm a game changer and EA allow us to have it a few days earlier so that we can explore the pack. People can write reviews if they need to do so and I can make these videos to cover it so that you guys know everything and to make your decision whether this pack is worth it or not. So that's why I have it early, but it is coming out tomorrow. So I have my Sims ready. And the first thing we're actually gonna jump into is the aspiration that comes with this. So I've quickly gone over this in Create a Sim, but let's have a look at the actual like stages and steps that it takes to become a master knitter. So this is called Lady of the Knits. Um, you can be a humble knitter, so you have have to knit for five hours, start three knitting projects whilst inspired, knit on a rocking chair. For level two, thread setter, you have to achieve level four in knitting skill, knit whilst listening to music, or sell a knitted object on Plopsy. And then for three and four, Dreamweaver, you have to complete 10 excellent knittables, successfully gift three knittables, achieve level six in the knitting skill, successfully show off your knitted sweater to another sim. And then for Lady of the Knits, which is number four, you have to donate five knitted items to charity. This holds a special place in my heart. If you guys have watched my Nifty Knitting videos before, this is something that I really wanted to see in this pack because this is something that is really special to me because every season my grandma actually knits a whole load of mittens and hats and beanies for the premature babies in the Manchester surrounding area for all the hospitals, all the babies who are in ICU centers. She knits for them and then donates all of them to the hospitals around us so that the babies can stay warm and have something handmade. And it's just, it, it makes me wanna cry just thinking about it. And I just love it so much that this is actually an option. Like, thank you, Sims team, because this is something like super personal and just like, so wholesome. And then achieve level 10 in the knitting skill, complete five legendary knittables and teach another sim to knit. Fun fact, I recorded this video and my microphone was muted. So I have set back all of Alice's skills. So she's actually a level one in knitting. If you're wondering why it says a level four, she was, but I brought it back down to a level one. So that's Lady of the Knits. The reward trait is sacred knitting knowledge. Yarny plays a little role there. Sims with this trait gain enhanced benefits to teaching other Sims how to knit. Sims are also immune to the foul magic of the sweater curse, which I basically think means that you can't knit a bad sweater if you complete this, and can dispel afflicted Sims from its snarly grasp. Lastly, Sims have the ability to craft unique knitted items like a very special companion from a strange land that's the forbidden sweater, which honestly is forbidden for a reason. Yeah, because it's covered in big balls. I don't, I hate how this pack forces me to say sweater. I'm the English simmer. I should be saying jumper, but no, I have to say sweater because the Sims is Americanized. Oh, damn you, Sims team. You did that as a personal attack on me. I can feel it. So what we're first off gonna do is obviously explore the knitting element of this. So as you can see, knitting is currently blocked out. Uh, this object must be in the Sims inventory to begin knitting. This is the same for both of the knitting baskets. So you get this one, and then you also have this modern one. This is set up for my build and buy mode video that's gonna be coming later. So if you want to check that out, definitely 
definitely do so. Um, so we can sit on the rocking chair and we are gonna create this black and white bear beanie. So this is what it actually looks like in the game. It's super cute, but Alice is getting to knit it on the rocking chair. And we have this moodlet that says rock steady. In a rocking chair, the world seems clearer. Your thoughts slow down and the gentle movement soothes the soul. So this is the knitting interaction. Acquired the knitting skill. Alice's new skill in knitting will allow her to create amazing stitched artwork. The higher the skill level, the more knittables she can knit. I will say from what I have played briefly of this pack to like get used to it and to sort of explore it a little bit before sitting down and recording this video. The skill goes up super fast and I don't know if it's because we're sat on a rocking chair. I think that does enhance the skill gain. Um, so maybe if we sat on here and actually knitted, which you don't have to be on a rocking chair to do so, you can't knit on chairs like this. So you can't like knit at a dining table or on a bar stool or at a desk. It has to be an open chair. So you can't knit, it comes up with like a little message that says you can't knit in a slotted chair. So basically anything that slots into underneath a table, you can't knit in, but you can knit in just a regular armchair or also a sofa. So I'm also gonna have her knit another beanie over on here just to show you that you don't need to be in the rocking chair. Like it's not tied to this chair only. But as you can see, she's almost finished one beanie and has or almost already gone up in the skill. Like to me, it seems super, super fast. Like I think I had my Sim knit four items and they were already like a level three and a half. It just seems like ridiculously fast. I don't know if the team are gonna nerf it and I'm fairly sure that this gives you a slight buff to like learn it faster, as does listening to metal music. Obviously there is a play on words, rocking out, rocking chair, rock music. So there is a new metal station. So we can actually turn this on and then it's in all capitals, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys probably aren't gonna hear this because I don't want to get a copyright strike, um, but it is playing very, very low right now. So you can air guitar to metal, you can choose next nocturne, which basically means next song. For the change volume, it says make metal quieter for some reason, make metal not hurt ears, which is normal, and then make metal proper and loud. So I'm gonna go for the quieter one because like I said, I don't, I don't want that copyright strike. We can also brutally dance and listen to metal. So I am gonna have Alice listen to metal, hopefully whilst she is knitting away here. And as you can see, the beanie that she originally made, the black and white bear beanie is currently in our inventory. So what we can do is we can frog it Loads of you who knit told me that this was a technical term in knitting. You were either pulling my leg to make me look a fool or this is legitimate. So it's basically called frog because you rip it and rip it sounds like ribbit, which is frogging. So this basically unravels the knit, destroying the knitted object and refunding a small amount of simoleons. I'm fairly sure you get about half back. When I made a beanie, it cost 20 simoleons to knit and then I got 10 simoleons back if I frogged it. Then you can also obviously add it to your favorites. You can add things to your wardrobe. Currently they already have this in Creator Sim, so I can't add it to my wardrobe, but I'll do the kids jumper to show you that. Then we can donate it to charity, which is just adorable. We can gift it to the Sims in my household or someone who's visiting. And we can of course list it to Plopsy. Lists this item for sale on the online marketplace Plopsy. So I think what we're gonna do is actually gift it to oh, yeah. charity. <laughs> And we finished the blue and white one. We aren't gonna listen to the music just yet. Let's go give this to charity. So your sim heads on over to the mailbox when you donate to charity. 
pops it in there and then you get a moodlet that says knitable contribution to the betterment of society. Knitting for a good cause feels great. It may feel small, but donated knits can have a big impact on a stranger's happiness, which is so cute. And then also neat knits from finishing a knitted project. Knitting project complete. A combination of patience, passion, and perseverance made this moment possible. Holy smokes, there was a lot of peas. I hope my plosive blocker is working on my microphone. <laughs> We're also gonna go gift this to our kid. So let's go give this to Goopy. This gift interaction is pretty much exactly the same. Everything that you see in the game already. So your sim whips out the little gift box. They react, they're like, for me, see what it is. Parcel disappears and then probably is in their inventory. Yeah, there we go. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, thanks. It'll make good a good bird's nest at least if the birds aren't picky. That's so mean. Your mother made that for you with love. I am going to add it to your wardrobe. Now you can't get away with it. So that's the knitting skill. I am gonna tell you guys what actually is unlocked throughout it. So if you don't want spoilers, maybe skip through uh, for a couple of minutes until I read them all out. Cause I just wanna get your opinions on this. Cause I am not a knitter. I don't really knit. And so I don't really know like what the, the skill takes. So for level one of knitting, you can actually knit beanies, which is what we have seen Alice do. When you reach level two, it actually unlocks socks. So we're gonna go for these gray raccoon low cut socks. And number three, you can make the mailboxes and the hanging plants. At four, you can create the rugs. At five, you can create sweaters and teach other sims to knit. At six, you can make the poofs that your sims can sit on. This isn't tiny living, it's not just a table. The little knitted poofs that we have in the game, your sims can actually sit on instead of just being a decorative table, which I'm quite glad about. At seven, they can do like the decor toys and plants. So the knitted plants and also the big toys. At eight, they can do baby onesies and toddler onesies. At nine, they can do the sweaters with the scarves. So such as the one that Alice currently has on. And then at 10, they can create the small toys that Sims can actually play with and mentor other Sims in the knitting skill. So like I said, I'm not a knitter, so I don't know like if that's realistic or not for like skill levels and what you can and can't do. I found it a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm gonna show you why, because these are like the decorative things. So you have like this cacti, you have a llama plant, you have this big penguin and this like little squid and this turtle, which are a lot bigger than the small toys that unlocks at level 10. So to me personally, like I find it weird that you can do these bigger ones before these smaller ones. Maybe that's because these are more intricate and it's just a bit of a bummer for me because like level eight to make a baby grow, I mean, the knitting skill does go up quite fast. So not too much of a challenge. Like she's made what, three things and she's already a level three. So technically not too much of a challenge. I would have loved to see like baby grows selfishly be a little bit lower because I want it for my rags to recycle challenge. <laughs> And we're having a baby. So I was kind of hoping that it would be like a level four or a level five, like kind of intermediate. But let me know how you feel if you do knit. Let me know if you think that's realistic or not, because I would love to hear feedback on that because like I said, I'm, I'm not great at knowing whether it is or not. So those are all the things you can do with a knitted item. And we are obviously gonna list something on Plopsy. So I'll wait for Alice to be done with, is it the pair of socks that she's currently making? And we'll list them on to Plopsy, which you can just do through your inventory, which is really nice. So the socks are made. Oh no, they're mismatched. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I kind of want to add them to our wardrobe because they're mismatched, but we won't. Okay, we'll list the item 
on Plopsy. So you just do this through your phone. It costs 10 simoleons to actually list an item. So these are now on Plopsy. As you can see, it's like pink, red, and there's a little Plopsy symbol. Uh, the quality is poor, so I doubt we're gonna get a lot for it. The selling price, we haven't had any offers yet. The expiration time is Thursday, so hopefully we'll get an offer before then. And currently there's no buyers, but it was knitted by Alice and knitted clothing handcrafted with love, which is so cute. So we're gonna take a look at Plopsy actually. So on your phone, if you go to household, you can browse Plopsy. You can also do this on a Sims computer by going to order and you can browse Plopsy. So it refreshes every hour on the hour. So if you don't like anything that you see, if you don't wanna buy anything, you can just wait. I love the usernames. They're really unique. There's also like a few, a few little throwbacks to like past Sims games. So there's Pineapple Guy 87, Pascal Curious, which I think the Curious, were they in Sims 2? The Curious Family, or maybe one. Rocking Chairs, Twinbrook, which is obviously a world, I can't remember what Sims game, maybe Sims 3, I can't remember. Buddy the Bellhop, which is a reference to my Sims. So here, like people just sell anything. So there's knitables, there's candles, there's more candles, potions from Realm of Magic. You can list potions for sale. You're getting a little sneak peek at the baby onesie, which I'm not gonna show off in this video, but that will be showed off in my Rags to Recycle challenge. So if you wanna see the baby onesies and all their glorious detail, definitely go check that out. And then also herbalism. If you have outdoor retreat, you can sell your herbal things. So we're actually gonna buy a tummy therapy. If you actually buy a knitted item, so let's let's buy this men's scarf. Obviously there's only one of each item because these are like little independent stores. So you can't actually put these back up on Plopsy. You can't resell them, thankfully. So you aren't taking advantage of somebody else's work, but you can frog them. You can add them to your wardrobe so your Sims can wear them. You can donate them to charity and you can also re-gift them. But like I said, you don't only have to sell knitwear. You can sell a whole load of things. So you can, for example, sell paintings. If you have seasons, you can sell flower arrangements. If you have eco lifestyle, you can sell candles. Um, base game, you can sell wooden statues. So we're gonna list that on Plopsy. Then, this is the most exciting for me personally. We are gonna have V take a photo. We're just gonna take a photo of our, of our little knitted <laughs> mailboxes. So let's take a bunch of those. They're in our inventory. We can list these on Plopsy. We can list photographs on Plopsy. I feel like photographs are quite difficult in The Sims 4 because unless you own a shop, if you have get to work and you have like a photography studio, they don't sell for a lot for one. And two, like that costs a lot of money to start up a shop, whereas now, the fact that you can sell them on Plopsy just means so much to me. The only two things, obviously you can do potions if you have Realm of Magic, you can't sell robots and you can't sell any fabricated stuff, which was definitely a disappointment for me. Cause again, I feel like you can't really sell fabricated furniture unless you just instantly do it through your household inventory. You also can't sell perishables and when you think about it logically, it makes sense. It's slightly disappointing because you're like, oh, like I really wanted my, personally, I wanted my Sims to be able to sell like fizzy juice from Eco Lifestyle. But when you think about it, those things can go off. And obviously because Plopsy takes a little while to have offers start rolling in and then you've got to ship your stuff over to the seller. Like by the time that you've sold it, it might have already perished. It might have become spoil in your Sims inventory. Someone could have eaten it. Um, so it makes sense in a way that you can't sell it. I'm sure a modder, I'm sorry to those of you who play on console who can't download mods, but I'm sure a modder will come out and like allow you to sell food or baked goods or juice fizz if you have eco lifestyle. We 
are gonna brutally dance because I was kind of disappointed with this interaction. I'm not gonna lie. It just seems a bit weird. Like your Sims just dance as usual. I was expecting like jumping around, like thrashing, like Chloe Price, Haley Williams action, like a little bit of head banging here or there, but I don't know if that comes later. Like maybe if your Sim gets the dancing skill, but they just look socially awkward. <laughs> and it just doesn't fit the vibe of dancing to metal in my opinion whereas if you do air guitar to metal this kind of looks weird in the beginning because it looks like they're listening to like Vance Joy and no offense to Vance Joy I bloody love the man but like very acoustic oh she actually did the head banging straight away usually like your sims will just stand there like that and just just kind of vibe like with an acoustic guitar, you know, doing a little bit of a jam session But then they will throw in a cheeky little headbang here or there. Oh, it just makes my heart happy I I genuinely really like this pack from what I have played of the gameplay Create a sim was a bit of a disappointment for me Don't get me wrong if you haven't watched my create a sim video definitely go do so um, but the gameplay is like so wholesome and it's right up my alley like I love to play rags to rich challenge which you could probably do on Plopsy it might take a while and it might be super hard because I don't know like the highest selling points but you could definitely do that if you wanted to and also like supporting independent stores I love personally shopping on Etsy myself I try and like buy on Etsy as much as possible but Alice reached level 5 in knitting can make sweaters because I want to show you how adding a knit to your wardrobe actually works and like what happens in create a sim when you actually do that she can also make rugs as well um with rugs it's a little bit different and also the hanging plants as well so these are live draggable which basically means you can drag them out in live mode so if you want to decorate your sims house um with the stuff that you've knitted it's you're able to do that you can also drag it back into your inventory at any time if you decide hey i don't really like this rug anymore if you give your sims house a makeover and it doesn't fit in with the theme you can just drag it back into your inventory and decide to frog it or list it on Plopsy or gift it to someone or donate it to charity, which is really nice to see that they kind of have this live draggable thing. It's the same with the mailboxes. And like I said, with the little hanging plants, kids can also knit. So if our kid had a little basket, I'd just be able to have them knit. But I'm actually gonna have Alice teach goopy <laughs> i didn't see what the kid was called before starting it <laughs> we're gonna take a vacation day because our mom wants to teach us how to knit the original goth boy which is another my sims reference would like to purchase small print on plopsy if you agree to the sale then find the small print in the inventory and ship it to send it off to its new forever home so if we go to V, you can see that it's changed from red to blue and we can click this. We can ship it on Plopsy for 81 simoleons. So that way, way brings it up. Like if we had sold this in our inventory, it would have been 25 simoleons. Now it's 81 simoleons for a small photograph. So we can either choose to ship it on Plopsy or we can relist it. So this refreshes the duration of the listing and cancels any current buyers. If we hover over it, you can see that the selling price is 81 simoleons. The buyer is the original goth boy and V was the photographer. So if you want to relist it, you can. I think you could probably lose money. Like if someone doesn't want to pay 81 simoleons, they could offer a lower price or a higher price. So you kind of take a risk on that one. Um, but we're going to ship it to Goth Boy. I want Goth Boy to have this photograph for 81 simoleons. So you get instant gratification. Yes, we did just take 50 simoleons off because Alice started knitting a rug, but we got instant gratification, we got our 81 simoleons straight away, and we have made our first Plopsy mint. <laughs> Plopsied from successful sale on Plopsy. This sim made a sale on Plopsy. Having an internet stranger buy your stuff is surprisingly validating. Keep it up. 
Go on V, I'm so proud of you. So since Alice is now a level five in knitting, she can teach to knit on other sims. So if we go to friendly, um, you have some little icons that obviously show that the interactions came with Nifty Knitting, which I really like. I love when the little icons show you because sometimes they get lost and it's hard to see what's new. So we can show off our knitted clothing as she is wearing a knitted jumper. So this basically is just an interaction where your sim will walk over to the other sim and be like, ooh, check out my swag. Teach Goopy to knit. This is such an adorable interaction. This genuinely melted my heart. Like I, if I didn't get this pack for free, I would buy it purely based on this interaction, which sounds ridiculous, but it is so sweet. And the fact that parents and grandparents can do this with kids is just adorable so they like get the knitting needles out and he looks so worried he's like mom am i doing it right and alice just looks so proud of him she's like you're doing it kiddo like you got this like look she's encouraging him she's like yeah that's a good one and he's like focusing so hard on it like is this not the cutest interaction you've ever seen in the sim <laughs> It's just so cute. I want to cry over it. Like, the amount of attention to detail that has gone into this interaction is incredible. And I just want to thank the Sims team for it because it is the sweetest thing I have ever witnessed in The Sims 4. And like I said, I would, I would purposefully buy this pack based on that one interaction. So that unlocks at level five of the knitting skill. Also goes up again super quickly. Um, he's been knitting for like, what, an hour maybe? And he's already a level 2.5. Like he's probably after finishing this interaction, he's probably gonna be a level three. Like boom, level three, right there. It goes so fast. I don't know if the Sims team are gonna have to nerf it because like it just seems like such an easy skill to gain. What I also wanted to show you guys was the club system. So if you have get together, obviously you can create clubs. So we are gonna create a club. We're gonna call it getting nitty with it. So if you want to, you can create a little knitting club if you have get together and you can go to like a little cafe and the club activity. I genuinely thought it was gonna be listed under hobbies and I got really scared that it wasn't gonna be there. Really, really scared. I was like, Sims team, don't do this to me. But it's actually under art and music. So if you were looking for knitting, that's where it's at. So we are gonna choose knitting. It's got the little yarn ball icon. There isn't like knitting needles, but I'm just gonna go for a knife and fork. We're gonna have the group go and sit together, hopefully. And then we are going to knit clothing. We're gonna go for sweaters and we're gonna go for this pink women's sweater. So your sim can do this on any lot. If you wanna make like a dedicated knitting spot for your clubs, or anything like that, as long as you have the basket in your inventory, either this one or the other one, your sim can knit anywhere, which is really, really nice. I'm glad that they don't have to just do it in a rocking chair and that they can also just do it out and about. Like I would hate if it were locked into just being at home. So I just wanted to point that out because I think it's really important like to have cross pack gameplay and this is a great pack for it. Like it, goes with a lot of different stuff, especially with Plopsy and having the cross pack references, like being able to sell woodworking or flower, what's it called, arranging, all of that is really, really nice to see. And then finally, I'm gonna show you how adding to your wardrobe works. So what I'm gonna do is click on this children's jumper. I am going to add it to our wardrobe. Gray and green children's jumper is now available for all household members in Creator Sim. 
Select plan outfit on a dresser or mirror to change into the new gray and green child's sweater. So as usual, you go over to a dresser or a mirror, like it said, and you can plan outfits. So once you've added it to your wardrobe, you can go into the tops. We are gonna filter with nifty knitting just so it's easy to see. And as you can see, we have the green and gray variant, but everything else is still locked, which is really, really nice to see. I'm a big fan of this. It kind of means you have to get into gameplay and you have to like make the sweaters for each individual one, which is really nice. It does add a little bit of difficulty to the game. However, there is a cheat, which I mentioned in my Creator Sim video, but I'll go over it here as well. So CAS dot unlock by tag, and then space SP 17, not 19. Oh my goodness, 17. So that's the cheat, hit enter, and it says unlocked tag parts then just go off it and back onto it and it unlocks everything so you can see all of them so if you want instant gratification and you don't want to individually like hand knit every single one you can just do that cheat and it'll unlock them all kind of forgot to mention this the first time recording this but i just thought i would hop on and show you the different age interactions with the rocking chairs so elders can reminisce and then kids and toddlers can play with the rocking chair i think it's pretty much the same for toddlers as it is for kids there might be like a slight difference I don't know but V is a reminiscing on the rocking chair oh did you just think about a baby and a birthday so the kids just on one like that's it like had blue smarties for sure and is off on it mate if we can't have rocking horses in the sims 4 at least we have rocking chairs sledging which sledging isn't a thing in the sims 4 so a lot of people were like is this a hint D does a duck equal a farming expansion pack? Who knows? We had video games. Arcade. Huh. We're definitely getting arcades in The Sims 4. Oh, you're so old. Ooh, embarrassed. Remember that super embarrassing thing. Ugh, what a gruesome experience. Why is it that unpleasant memories from years past linger, but something nice like what was for breakfast is long gone? To be fair, that, that do be me though. Like when you're just lying in bed and you think of all the embarrassing stuff that you've done in your past. Oh, it's the worst. Sims team, you hit the nail on the head with that one. So that, my friends, is pretty much all of the gameplay that comes with Nifty Knitting. I definitely think that this is where this pack stands out, in my personal opinion, and that's not just because I love playing the game and am most prominently like a gameplay simmer. It's just because like the thought that's gone into this pack is so clearly there. Like the fact that you have all of this cross pack gameplay and the fact that like, it seems like the team have really put their heart and soul into this. I will have a build and buy video up in a couple of hours. So if you wanna see an overview of the items that you can buy in build mode, then definitely check that out. I'll also be going through the debug items, just in a little bit more detail, running through swatches, what you can do with everything and things like that. So hit that notification bell if you wanna get notified when that video goes up. I'm also gonna be obviously exploring gameplay more in my rags to recycle, like I said, because we're having a baby in that let's play right now. And so I'm gonna like look at the onesies and all of that good stuff. I clearly have a lot of work to do. I need to get started on Alice's knitting skill so that she can reach level eight to make a damn baby grow. <laughs> So unfortunate. I was so hoping that it was going to be like a level five skill or something like that. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I hope I covered everything. If there's anything you think I missed, if there may have been a craftable that you were wondering like, hey Molly, you might have missed this. Uh, can you sell this on Plopsy? Definitely let me know. I think I've covered everything from what I've seen in the game. And yeah, to me personally, create a sim was a letdown. Build and buy mode is nice, but it's very colorful. So if like colorful isn't your forte, then it might not interest you as much. I definitely think like Plopsy and the knitting skill in general are where this pack shines in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. 
What do you like the look of? What do you not like the look of? Is there anything you're slightly disappointed with? The only thing really I'm disappointed with is the fact that you can't sell um, fabricated items on Plopsy. Like that would be the one thing I would change. Logically, I know why it probably happened because it goes straight into your household inventory instead of your personal. So it's a little bit more difficult. So I can see why the decision was made, but it still, still doesn't make it hurt any less. But thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I will try and get to as many of them as possible. Thank you again to EA for providing me with an early access code. And I will speak to you all in the build and buy mode video. Bye guys. Thank you.